How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we're going to do a Rolo tutorial setting it up with a Windows computer. I realized I haven't done a Rolo setup with Windows yet so we need to get that out of the way. If you haven't already please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel consider subscribing and let's get into the computer and get the Rolo set up. So here we have the Rolo printer. There is one single button here which will be used to feed or calibrate the printer. On the back we have a power switch a USB port and a power port. On the side we have this lever which is used to open up the printer. You can clean the print head, you can clean the roller, or you can adjust this feed slider. You're gonna need to take your power supply, plug the Mickey Mouse cord into the power supply, plug the power supply into the printer, and then you're gonna plug this into a wall. And then you can turn your printer on. If there's no labels loaded, it'll blink red because it's getting a signal that there's no labels loaded. You wanna make sure that the label surface is facing up towards this print head because that is where it may contact with the paper in order to put it, the image or the barcode. And we're going to feed, we're gonna open this up, squeeze these down to the size of the label, and then close the printer on top of it. And you wanna make sure your printer is calibrated to the labels that you're using. And the way that you do this is you press the feed button and it should feed exactly one label. Anytime you're changing label size, you are gonna to need to calibrate the printer. The way that you do that is you open it up. Um, so if you're gonna change labels, you're gonna take your new labels, place it in, close those feed guides, close the printer, and then it may auto calibrate and work perfectly fine, but if for some reason it needs to be manually calibrated, you would just hold down this front button and it will manually read the labels and should calibrate just like that. Anytime you notice your printer not printing the right length, maybe it's printing half on a sheet, half on another sheet, try doing a manual calibration by holding that regardless of if you've changed labels or not, a manual calibration may help. But we're gonna go back to the regular shipping labels. That's what most people are gonna be using this printer for. Now we're gonna take the USB cord, plug it into the back of the printer there, and take our USB cable, plug it into our, uh, plug it into our Windows computer. Now we're going to go into the computer and install the printer. Here we are on our Windows computer. We're going to open up a browser. I like to use Google Chrome and navigate to rollo.com forward slash driver. I will put a link directly to this driver in the description. It says it's compatible with XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10. I'm currently on Windows 10 and I have not tried it with these other windows. That is what they say, so they probably will work. I'm gonna hit download Rolo driver for Windows and then navigate to your downloads folder or click down here if it pops up. You should open this zip in file explorer. There is a setup video. They give you a sample label and they give you the driver. We're going to double click on the driver application and then we're going to hit extract all and hit next. Then we're gonna double click again on this folder uh, this will be the latest driver extracted. We're gonna double click on that application. Now it should run. It's asking me if I wanna allow this app to make changes to my device. I'm gonna hit yes. I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna install. Hit next. Hit finish and hit finish. The printer was plugged in while I ran all of this. And if I go down here to printers, and scanners, we should see a Rolo printer. There we go. You can hit manage and you can throw a test print at it really quick if you wanna just see if it prints something. That's really easy to do. You can go to this folder. There's a sample label you can double click on that, open it up, go to file print or control P. Make sure that you pick the Rolo printer and make sure your size is four by six. Everything looks good. Hit print. And we have our sample label printed. There are some settings I'll show you guys. Back here, 
at the printers and scanners page. If you click on the Rolo, you go to manage and then go to printing preferences. There are some settings here, default layout, paper quality, and then here is settings. This is speed and density. You can change this if needed to make it a little bit darker or print a little bit slower. You can create custom paper sizes right here with width, height, and then your margins. Usually you wanna keep your margins zero and just change width and height because you wanna be able to print all across the page. Stock you're really not gonna need to mess with most likely. You're really only gonna be messing with this speed density or if you need a custom paper size right there. Before we get out of here, I do want to recommend that you go watch this video. It's on YouTube. How to fix thermal printing label printing sideways. This shows you how to go through eBay, Poshmark, Etsy and change the settings because you have to change the settings before you print your labels in order for them to be four by six because they're in default by eight and a half and 11. So I highly recommend that you watch this video. I will put a link to it in the description as well as in the corner so you can easily find that because that is a problem that you're probably going to have if you didn't know to go in and change the settings thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already please give the video a thumbs up if you have any questions about the roll of printer please put them in the comment section and i will talk to you in the next video bye